What's up everyone? We're here showing you the car again. Um, I haven't really revealed it much, so I'm gonna go walk around this car with you, show you all the flaws and things that I've personally found so far. There's more, but this is where we're gonna start with right now. All right, walk to the back here, start off. Lots of dents along this tailgate. Massive ding in the boat. The paint is not perfect. I'm not looking for, I wasn't looking for perfection when I purchased this. I, I personally love rough on the outside. That's really it. Stock tires, stock hood. So that's cool. So now let's pop the hood together. So now mechanically it sounds. It's great. I think it needs spark plugs because there's an issue with boost currently right now. It is tuned on access port. Um, it could be a mass airflow sensor as you see there's an issue there but the biggest concern is this I think the exhaust leak is at the header or the up pipe I think it's called uh, that's where we're at now interior it's very basic the seats ripped that's gonna go 100% but this is where we're at with the car it's pretty cool it's not bad so anyways that's what we're talking about our car 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 fitness and cars I can't wait to bring the two together I think it's gonna be magical mental health in cars or fitness mental health in cars all go together honestly and I should not be holding this camera because I'm not trained <laughs> well I'm super excited for this build honestly I've let my weight affect my entire life I used to be in cars pretty heavily, but then I got really big and I had to get out of it because I couldn't bend over and get under a hood. I couldn't get under the vehicle. So now that we lost the weight though, we're getting back into this. This is a dream car, a dream build of mine. And uh, I'm glad that I could bring you along with this here today or the journey. This is a part of my journey now. So we're all gonna build this together. We're gonna document everything. We're gonna have fun, make some fun content. I look forward to you tuning in every time I upload. What's up everyone? So we're working on the WRX today on this thing. Um, plugs and we're gonna make sure the gap is correct, which this one's sitting at four. It's a little much. Recommendation is 30,000. So we're gonna reduce this by 10,000. I don't have much tools, honestly, I'm not working with much. I re not recently, but I sold all my tools a long time ago. Shouldn't have. Doing this a very ghetto way, I don't recommend this. All right, so now we're at 20,000 right now. <clears throat> so we're gonna go up 10. 30,000, looks good, looks good. First plug done, We've got three more to go. I'm just running some NGK G powers. Again, th this car is not gonna be pushing much power. It's just gonna be more for re reliability currently. I've been an NGK fan since before some of y'all are born. Um, never had issues with them. And if someone wants to come in the comments and say something different, you can go ahead and do that. It's totally fine. Hey, look at that. This one's at 30. It's great, it's a win. This is why you always check your plugs, you all. With turbo cars, you gotta make sure the, the, the uh, spark is. Um, so this is throw. So that's T. Oh, gee, this one's at 40. C. We're at 40 thousandths again. So really professional mechanic wrench turn. I've just done this in the backyard. Backyard boy. Done. Now where did the cardboard go? No. Found it. <clears throat> Sorry for the camera position anyways you all so something that I'd like to say is I have let my weight it's always affected me and it's great tap so anyways I've let my weight dictate me for my entire life um, at my biggest I honestly jumped out of the car I stopped doing everything honestly I didn't want to live anymore and now that I've lost all this weight, I want to get back into what I enjoy doing. And that was turning wrenches. That was learning, you know what I mean? Um, back in the day, my automotive teacher in high school used to say, do the same thing. They all go bang, blow. And it's so true. All, all combustible motors do do that. They suck air in. They make an explosion. 
they blow exhaust. It's always stuck in my head. Anyways, so I've always had a, a, a passion with uh, working on cars, building something fun. Some, I've owned uh, two MK2 WRXs in the past, uh, two Nissan Sentra SERs with the SR20 DETs. I've had some amazing cars, um, some fun projects I've had as well, you know, and when I got so couldn't fit under the hood, my belly was so huge when I leaned down, it hit the radiator support before I could actually reach anything to give some perspective. So yeah, man, I'm just, so we're gonna get under the hood now. I gotta pick up my kids here in about 30 minutes. I'm not sure how much work we're gonna get done currently, but you will see the end result in this video. So stay tuned you all, we're gonna get under the hood. Here we go, you let's go. Uh, I don't even know where to start, honestly. I'm taking a shot in the dark as to, I haven't worked on a Subaru in a very long time. I might get the GoPro actually. Let's get a strip in. Uh, brother. This is difficult recording and doing this at the same time. Well. <clears throat> That's crazy. Well, one's down, three to go. Well, we just got the second one out. Done. That one, this one. It. One thing I'd like to mention is that as I was doing this, I pulled the dipstick. I didn't check it and I should have when I got the car, but <clears throat> it's not. So we're gonna add oil to it today. And uh, see if there's any smoking. If there is, it's probably the turbo, which is fine. I was actually thinking about upgrading that to a 20G turbo. Um, so what's crazy is someone literally commented, good luck with that. Hopefully you don't have to do the spark plugs. And honestly, spark plugs to me is fine. It is a tight area for anyone, I think. But I was just like, bro, you really did this to me? You really uh, jinxed me. All right, bro. Yeah. Oh, I got it. So anyways, as I work on cars, I like to just, you know what I mean? Just think about random life things, opportunities. It's crazy how far I've come in my journey, you all. It's crazy how far I've come. I'm still mind blown. Some days I think that me, a lot. I still think I'm the same person. What the heck? It's in the hole. I'm fucked dead. Finger tighten the for the I already got the other one finger tight. When do I get my kids? I got nine minutes, I gotta leave. I'm not gonna be able to do the other side in time. I was hoping to pick them up in this. Kids, they love running new stuff. I picked up my older boys yesterday. They're like, what the heck? Why aren't you driving? I was like, what, you don't like the hoopty, bro? All right, this side's done. I'll show you. Got this side all buttoned up. Whoever built this hose, you should probably stop working on car. Stop. <clears throat> this side, I got to take out the reservoir. I'm hoping I don't got to move the battery. I'm not sure yet. I might have to move the battery. Looks like the plug coils right there for this one. So I know for sure this reservoir has to go. Not a problem, totally okay with it. So a couple of electrical harnesses. The only thing I'm worried about is spilling. Think about how we could plug that up for temporarily and uh, I'll be back. Just one moment you all. So yeah. Currently just going to get my kids from the bus stop. Y'all already know. I got seven kids. If you're new to this channel, um, aging from four years old to 16 years old. My oldest is, that's why I purchased this car or else I'd just be driving the truck, honestly. The truck is solid. But uh, yeah, so I'm just picking up the kids right now. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else. Y'all gonna judge me for the end. Uh, I already know, that's fine. I'm new to this. All right, so now we're on this side, which is driver's side. And we're gonna get this bad boy out of here. It is very tight. Holy crap, dude. That's brutal. That's brutal. I'll be back. Got it broken loose. Now we're gonna go to this one up here. I really hope I don't gotta move anything else. But I think we might be good. All right, cool. Now they're both loose. 
crap. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna tear off the boop. Watchers off. Dang, that's tight. <laughs> that's what she said. That's what he said. <laughs> It's a lot of work. You don't have much space for anything. Definitely not something I want to do or again. Oh, come on now. Brother, look at this. Nope. All right, I'll figure it out. <clears throat> Show you all. Oh, yes, let's go. Let's go. Heck yeah. I'm gonna get my... Spark plug socket on there. It's coming out, y'all. Let's go. <clears throat> so I can go get my youngest. He wants me to pick this up, pick him up in this. This is the biggest pain in my ass. Dude, this is brutal. Quachow! Bro. Ugh, that one's not as bad as the other one, so that's... But not good. Oh, bro. <laughs> well, what went in easier? Than expected. All right, we'll get a finger tight. And then... Then do the next one. Apparently the next one's easier. We should. This isn't as bad as I thought, though. I thought for sure this was going to be worse. Put the ratchet on there yet? There we go. Should have slide that. The baby, let's go. So now we get the quill back. Yeah. Now I'm going to line it up with the split plug. So let's flip this back upside down. I wish I had room. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying this kind of content. I don't know. We'll get more creative, I guess, as time goes. But how many of those other ones loose? I gotta get my hand in there somehow. I'm gonna go front. <sighs> gotta do like this, reach around, business. Oh, there it goes. I'm going my way. And these plugs are really loose. I know I've said that before. It's kind of concerning. I do know that there's an exhaust leak. That's next. That'll be the next video. I twist it. Nope. <clears throat> Honestly, valve covers would be a terrible job on this. Let me show you all my hand position. This is how I have to reach down in there. I haven't got much room between the head and the frame rail to get your spark plug out. It's definitely doable, but. Bro, I'm dying. I'm gonna pause it, get it out, and we'll come back. All done. Now let's load up the uh, cob. Let's see if it starts. The cob is not wanting to load. There's an issue with the cord. Um, so it's loading. I was fighting the last coil, would not get in, it would not cover the spark plug. Ooh, she sounds good, boys. Beautiful. I gotta go buy oil for it. Um, and then take my kid to pick up my kid. That's all we're doing today. Yeah. It's looking and sounding a lot better. Tune up, mass airflow sensors clean, some oil in there. Um, you all, this. I'm just so grateful that I got you all in my corner rooting for me along this journey as well. This is uh, a new adventure for you all to see of mine. Um, I'm super proud to be able to have the ability to post on social media or like even the confidence. So next time we're going to shout out this exhaust leak, get this going. Till then, you all see, see you later.